Welcome to video number two in my puppy series. This one's on rough handling. I handle my dogs really rough, as anyone who knows me knows. Huh. I kind of slap them and I kind of pull their fur. And... Hi, Ginge. And the reason for this is we have a lot of little kids who come over and it helps them to learn that they need to not get excited and bite and play, and but they also need to not get hurt or irritated and bite and anger. You need to know that kids aren't the nicest handlers and they just need to live with it. It also, it's just a fun way to play with them because, you know, dogs play rough with each other anyway, so it's not like it really hurts them. It's, they just think it's a little odd that humans are doing it and they might try to bite you and play. So I just think it's really important if you have little kids around that you've got to get them used to rough handling. Like, when I first got Ginger, that's when she bit me, when I grabbed her by the scruff and pulled her away from something. And I probably didn't grab her any harder than I'm grabbing her right now. She doesn't care. Because I've desensitized her, I've desensitized her to it. And Kate, I can do about anything I want to her and she don't care, huh? Huh, Kate? So that's just a little tip. So when you're starting it, start soft and slow. You know, don't come in and just start pounding your dog and yanking it all around. You know, come in and maybe little pats, depending how sensitive the dog is, or maybe just a little tug, you know. Because you don't want to make it go over the top and get bit. And if she's uncomfortable with it, then back off. You know, and you can, you can work up to it. You can work up to about anything. Dogs are pretty versatile. And you know, just combine it with getting a treat or praise if you're training them and they get something right, give them a bunch of treats and rip them up a little bit. And full disclaimer, I've only done this when raising puppies. I've never started an adult dog. You can see where a dog would take that as a threat if you handle them like this. So that's something to be aware of. I've only ever done puppies. And never go any faster or any harder than your dog is comfortable with because that's not the point. You don't want them to start disliking you or whatever. The point is they need to be comfortable with being handled like this. So just go as slow as your dog needs to go or as fast as you can go, whatever. It's totally up to your dog because this isn't a, you know, a real training exercise, although I do think it's really important for them to be comfortable with it, huh? As you can see with Ginge, she's real comfortable. I can do about anything I want to her now, huh? Huh, Ginge? Yeah, because you're a good girl. Sometimes she likes to groan and grunt when I do stuff with her, but it's just play. She's not mad and she doesn't bite or anything. So if she did, I would back off, but she handles it well. So, Kate's gone. Ginger's about to leave because Kate just left. So, I guess until next time, goodbye.